Good morning. I'm on my way to the 5K pumpkin race. And I typically run this race every year, but I obviously did not run it last year because of COVID. You could have done it remotely in your own neighborhood. So I did purchase the items to run the race, but I actually did not run the race last year. But I am running it this year. This is the first time that I'm running since I've had my surgery. So I am so excited been sick lately and that's the reason why I haven't been able to edit a lot of videos. I have a lot of information that I've been recording but I just haven't had a chance to edit and I know I keep saying I'm going to do a video about my health. I'm going to do a video about my health. I still haven't done that video about my health because I keep getting new diagnoses. Typically for races I'm usually there about an hour early because that's just me and I am running pretty late. <laughs> I also was going to wear makeup for this race. I've never run with makeup on. And I'm like, I ain't running with no makeup on. I like, forget that. <laughs> and that ain't happening today. I will show you my outfit when I get there. And um, yeah, I'm gonna put this down so I can drive safely. See you soon. All right, so I'm here. I wanna to try to show you my outfit while I walk down. They always give you one of these cute shirts. This one's so cute. It's blue this year. There's my number, there's my fanny pack. Here's my pants. I wore some fall socks this time around. Let's see, can you see my socks? Some fall time socks instead of wearing the pumpkin socks. It only made sense since it's fall and it's cold. It's about 45 degrees. These are kind of thin, but I have on a t-shirt underneath there. Of course, I got on my Black Girls Run hat. Today, I'm gonna estimate that my run is gonna be about 45 minutes. So I'm not gonna be under the 30 minute mark that I've been trying to get to, but hey, 45 minutes is better than zero, right? Thank you. I thought for sure it was going to be 45 minutes. I did it in 40 minutes. I ran the entire time. So I was able to keep my pace. They didn't have a water station halfway through. So I was very proud of myself that I didn't need to take a break during that water station. But yes, your girl did it. I did it. <laughs> First race after the surgery. I'm telling you, if I can do it, 
you can do it too. Woo. All right, I'll be back. I gotta eat my banana. I did it. I am all done. I'm in the car. That was so much fun. And your girl was a lot faster than what she thought she was gonna be. I honestly thought I was gonna run a 45 and I did much better. I guess it was actually a 41, but I don't know how accurate their timing system is. My Fitbit says 40, but their system says I did a 41, but you know, that's fine, whatever, you know. That was a lot of fun. And I'm encouraging each and every one of you to just try to run a 5K. And my race pace was 13 minutes and something seconds. I don't know. I can't remember the exact race pace that I had. You can do it too. If I can do it, I just had major surgery. So if I can do it, you can do it too, especially if you are a woman of a particular race. And if you look like me, we need to get healthier. We need to stop allowing our bodies to just kind of, you know, just have all of these different ailments. Even though I'm running, you know, obviously I'm still sick, but can you imagine how sick I would be if I wasn't running? So yeah, you can't tell me that me doing all of this stuff that I'm doing isn't something that's helping and making my body a little bit better. Oh, whew, I'm still out of breath, y'all. <laughs> Let's have a conversation down below. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about what it is that we need to do to get ready to run or even walk a 5K race. Are you interested in running the 5K race? If you're not interested in running a 5K race, why not? Are you interested in actually walking the 5K race? It's only three miles. You can walk three miles. And let me tell you, there was a lot of people that was walking. They was getting on my nerves because you line up based on the way that you're going to run. So there's no reason for walkers to be at the beginning of the line. There's no reason. You should be at the end of the line so that us runners can go ahead and pass you safely. But yeah, yeah, let's have a conversation down below on trying to get a little bit healthier. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time. Bye.